About uh, two days ago, someone was asking me, what do I think about uh, Dalai Lama saying that the Buddha was born in India and not in Nepal? He was asking my opinion. And uh, I said to him that uh, it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me for so many different reasons. First of all, if Dalai Lama really said so, that the Buddha was born in India and not in Nepal, he lied. And the very basic characteristics of his spirituality is not to lie. Not only outward lie, but the inward lie. Right? That is the very religious spirit essence, not to lie. And Dalai Lama lied because there is a uh, it is a historical fact that the Buddha was born in Nepal. There is no doubt in Lumbini, Buddha was born there. Everybody agrees with it. And apparently Dalai Lama said that he wasn't born in Nepal, he was born in India. Now, if he really said so, I think there is some kind of emotional content in it. Because, it, uh, you see, um, India gave him a home when the, when the Chinese uh, chased him out, out of the Tibet. Indian gave them home in a shelter. They looked after them. And he feels some kind of an obligation towards India. Right? And that's why that shouldn't be the reason for him to lie. That's the first, first thing. And him saying that Buddha was born in India doesn't erase the fact that uh, Buddha was born in Nepal. Secondly, a person like Buddha, wherever he, is, uh, he was born, it doesn't really matter. You know, he is for the whole of humanity. He's not, in, he's not sectarian. He's not a, a product of the brain. He, he, no one can measure Buddha. His wisdom is immeasurable. It is for whole of humanity. Not only humanity, but for the whole of you know, this planet. The trees, the birds. The, you see, um, the moment we measure, the moment we compare, we kill. We may not kill physically, but we, we kill gesturally, verbally, you know, uh, we unknowingly kill. What do we mean when we say we are, we love this thing and we, we don't, we love this thing, we don't like that thing, we hate that thing. What does that mean? That means we're killing it. To ignore something, to uh, dislike something, because I like this, when opposite is created, there is violence. And Buddha was totally against that. Not to create any opposite. That is the very essence of Buddhist teaching. Although the the so-called Buddhists go around the world is spreading all this nonsense. Buddha said this, Buddha said that. Wearing the dress, you know, reciting the mantras and clinging to the words. Buddha is beyond words. Buddha is not words. Buddha is not explanation. Buddha is explained himself. Buddha lived what he said. And uh, to me personally, first of all, of course Buddha was born in Nepal. And Dalai Lama, if he said so, I don't know, I haven't seen the video, but the guy, the, somebody was telling me, he was asking my opinion. And um, when I said I, I don't, it doesn't bother me, he was quite upset because I supposed to uh, be protecting the Buddha. He was born in Nepal. You see, um, it doesn't really matter where Buddha was born. In America, India or any, any part of the world. I mean, uh, Buddha was born in Nepal. But look at the state of the country now. Everybody's, you know, there's so much crime hankering after this and that. The material thing has completely taken over all over the world not only you know west even the east there if you if one talks if one talks anybody from that country all they care about money pleasure you know everything is reduced to measurements and buddha was beyond that buddha is long gone from from this world I'm afraid. It's not a pessimistic uh, statement, but uh, 
very few people live with this teaching. I was talking to a lady who studied uh, Buddhism for some 20, 30 odd years. He stayed in a Buddhist monasteries and went to Tibet and all other places. And when I said that uh, I'm, give, I'm going to give a talk on Buddha, she said, um, Oh, I know everything about Buddha. That very word, no, I know, is against Buddha. How, how, what do you know? Everything you know is your experience, is your past, it is gone. You know all the words, and words are not the thing. What you know is the language, is the words, the expression, the Buddha's, what Buddha is supposed to have said. That's what one knows. But truth cannot be known. It is not uh, something that you can organize, you can you know, know, you can agree or disagree. You see, there's a two thing. First of all, if, if one says that truth is a, a, a live thing, it, if it is alive, then one has to agree, one has to accept that one, a live thing is in movement, constantly moving. It's not a fixed state. Therefore, truth cannot be organized. That's the one thing. And that is the absolute truth. I mean, truth can is a live thing. To me, it is alive, it is moving, it is, it's not a fixed state. But, therefore, it cannot have any organizations behind truth. The second thing is, if one says that truth is a fixed state, therefore, one can organize it, one can use method, you can, one can go walk to that, to that truth, which is fixed state. And that is a dead thing. Only a dead thing is fixed. Of course, a live thing must be moving. Everything is moving. A tree that was... A tree... That we saw yesterday is no longer that tree. It's, 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 it has grown... Forget about the human beings, but the tree. Everything is going in moving that movement is truth but uh, unfortunately most of the people say a uh, truth is a uh, you know fixed state and you can organize it and and therefore they invented all kinds of methods which means what our journey is from known to known i have one has already known what one wants to find out wh wh where one wants to get to What's the, what's the point of all that? And what happens when we chase, we, when we make a path to... First of all, we, we kill the truth by fixing it. It's a fixed state. And then by the, and make so much effort to get there. And by the time one gets there, one becomes so dull and stupid and this and that. Oh, anyways, to come back to the point that to me it doesn't matter whether Buddha was born in Nepal, India, America or any European countries, Africa, in Sahara Desert or the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. I don't care where he was born. What I care is his spirit, his, his teachings, his uh, compassion for human beings, compassion for the, for the animals, for the, for the trees, for the whole of planet. That's what it matters. And Buddha is for whole of humanity. It's nobody's property. And it is bad of Dalai Lama. He could have simply said, it doesn't matter where Buddha was born, Nepal, India, he is a human being. He is not some, you know, tribal leader. He is not s some someone different than us we are he was one of us but uh, well there you go that's my that's my thought I apologize if I hurt anybody's feelings by saying this but 
Buddha is for all of humanity. He's nobody's property.